Hey everybody, Rich here with Fanatic Bike, and today we are checking out the new Forbidden Race Guide for the Druid and Dreadnought frames. Now, both of those frames ship stock with this E13 guide. This guide is great at keeping your chain on your idler, and it even flips open for easy access for trailside maintenance if you have problems with the idler or your chain. However, if you're someone like Connor Fearin, who's racing a dual crown equipped Dreadnought on the World Cup circuit, or you're just a racer like myself racing the local enduro series, you might want that 100% peace of mind that your chain is not going to derail, and that is where the new race guide comes in. So the new race guide attaches directly to the idler shaft, which means that there's no room for derailment. Like I mentioned, that does come at the cost of easy trailside maintenance that the E13 guide offers. That's why Forbidden has decided to only offer this as an aftermarket upgrade. This isn't something for everybody, but if you do need it, we'll have them available at Fnatic. If you look at the standard idler that comes stock on your Forbidden frame, you're going to notice that it comes with a regular Max Enduro bearing and these Labyrinth washers. Now, with the stock bearing, you have to pack these Labyrinth washers full of grease before you put it on there to keep things running smooth. However, with the new race guide, we have to eliminate these Labyrinth washers. That means that the new idlers require a solid lube bearing. These North Shore Billet idlers come stock with a solid lube bearing. A solid lube bearing is a lubricant impregnated polymer bearing that has no room for contaminants to get inside. So we don't need those labyrinth washers full of grease anymore. The solid lube bearing also requires a lot less maintenance, so that's another added bonus. All of the parts for these new race guides are manufactured in the United Kingdoms and British Columbia, which is pretty sweet. The guide itself is 3D printed over in the UK, and all of the required hardware and idlers are manufactured by North Shore Billet in British Columbia. Forbidden is going to be offering four different options for the new race guide. First option, if you already own a North Shore Billet idler with the solid loop bearing, you can purchase the guide and the corresponding hardware for $70. If you have an old idler that doesn't need to be replaced, but you still need a solid lube bearing, for $98 you can pick up the guide, hardware, and a single solid lube bearing for your idler. What we'll be stocking here at Fnatic is going to be the guide and alloy North Shore billet idler combo. For $140 you get the guide, the hardware, an idler, and the solid lube bearing. The final option, if you really want to ball out like me on my dreadnought, you can pick up the stainless steel North Shore billet idler and guide package for $210. Stainless steel is pretty nice because it will last longer, but it does come at that extra price. The Forbidden Race Guide is a worthwhile investment if you want that added protection of chain retention on your Forbidden bike. So, if you have any more questions about the race guide specifically, the Downhill Ready Dreadnought, or my favorite trail bike, the Druid, give us a call at 844-326-2845 or shoot us an email at sales at fanaticbike.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channels and follow us on social media at Fanatic Bike, and we hope to see you out on the trails.